Hello everybody, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Actually, I don't know how long this vlog is gonna span. It might only be like a couple of days, it might be a week. I'm not too sure. My schedule's a little bit crazy right now because I am traveling on September 2nd to September 9th, so I'm not really sure what's gonna go up when, but I figured that I would start a vlog because I haven't done I just haven't vlogged in a while and I miss y'all. So here I am, I'm seeing my face in this and I'm just realizing I was going to um, put some powder on my face because I didn't do that this morning when I did my makeup, which is very minimal, but I can see that it's getting really shiny. So I just wanna quickly do that. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. So I have not been having the best week. I've been feeling a little bit depressy, and yeah, that's probably why I haven't been vlogging. I haven't really been on Instagram stories or anything. I tend to just really withdraw from those things when I'm not feeling the best, just because, I don't know. It just, I feel like I have nothing really to say. It's just not the best vibes, but here we are regardless. I think that I'm making the decision today to just push through and get my crap together because I know that I'll feel better. I want to do some tidying and cleaning and laundry and I also want to get groceries and like clean out the fridge because last time we got groceries I didn't clean out the fridge so that needs to be done. Just these things that I put off when I'm really not feeling the greatest, I want to get back on top of. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a hard week. We've had a sick dog, Cadence, not Olive. Um, and it's always very stressful and scary when, um, when she's not feeling well because she's 12. And for her breed, that's basically like the end of her lifespan. They typically live from 10 to 12 years. So every time something is wrong with her, I'm just like preparing myself for the worst and it's very stressful and emotionally draining. So that's kind of where my head's been at this week. But, and I'm also just like trying to get everything ready so that I can go away in a week. And um, yeah, the vibes have not been amazing, but I'm just gonna make the best of things. And like I said, try to get back on track. There's things that I know will make me feel better, but for some reason, and I'm sure anybody who has struggled with depression can relate, it's so hard to motivate yourself to do those things. Like those things feel almost impossible to do. Um, but then once you start doing them, it gets better. So I need my brain to override my other brain. <laughs> We just need to get doing things. Um, so right now it is 1.07 p.m. in the afternoon, obviously. <laughs> and I'm just making some pasta for lunch because there's not really much to eat right now. And I have to go pick up my boyfriend from work in 20 minutes. I drove him there this morning so that I could have the car to be able to take Canis to the vet this morning. Um, and now I have to go pick him up, obviously, when he's done work. So. I just need to eat something before we go because I think we're gonna go grocery shopping on the way home, um, which is great. I've already, I already have the meal plan already and the grocery list already for the week. I also have a canker sore and you guys, I mean, it's like healing now, but it was so bad. I get really bad canker sores sometimes. I don't know like what the heck. I have my whole entire life, like ever since I was a child. I'll show it to you. Look away if you don't wanna see it. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Oh my God. It's literally just like an ulcer. If you've never had one before, it's just like an ulcer on the inside of your lip. And I have another one like under my tongue. They can be anywhere in your mouth, but yeah, they're so freaking painful. Anyways, depression hour is over. We are going to have this gourmet dinner of pasta with, I think I have a little bit of sauce, tomato sauce left. That's gonna be my lunch. Not fancy, but whatever. Oh, I also wanna put my iron fish, my iron fish into the boiling water. Ooh, that's gonna boil for seven minutes. So I figured I would just try to tidy up in those seven minutes rather than just standing here on my phone or something. <laughs> My fancy 
fancy lunch that I'm literally gonna eat in the car on the way. Yeah, I have to go get dressed quickly. I mean, I just am gonna put overalls instead of my sweatpants. And then take the dogs out potty, and then I'll be on my way. In one of my vlogs a few months ago, I was talking about how there was that spider in the car that one time, which has literally haunted me ever since. But somebody left a comment on that video saying that one time there was one like under this visor thing. And I kid you not, every time I get in my car now, I have to check because I'm so scared. Nothing there. I mean, preferably I would check before I'm sitting right under it, but you know. And I have to check this one. There's nothing there. And the reason I am like extra spooked living here is because there's these huge trees around our house. And I just feel like it's spider central. Like there's spider webs in here. I haven't seen any big ones, just small ones, but uh, yeah, we, we have to stop talking about it. It freaks me out too much. Okay, hello. Just had that soup, or it was more like a stew for dinner. And oh my goodness, it was so delicious. I was so happy with how it turned out. Um, if you're wondering <laughs> what's on my face, there's like these little seed things on my face because I'm finally trying out this Be Kind mask, which is the Soothing Face Peel Exfoliating Gel with Fruit Acids, Tasmanian Pepperberry and Arnica, 5% AHA. Um, I've had this for a few months now and I literally haven't tried it yet because I always just wash my face and crawl into bed But tonight it's only 7 30 or just past 7 30 and I'm just giving myself a little relaxation hour I did want to clean the floors and get to laundry today, but I figure I've done pretty well for feeling like crap I got some work done this morning did that vet appointment and then in the afternoon we did a big grocery shop i cleaned out the fridge put away all the groceries made that meal and then cleaned the kitchen after the meal so i'm honestly feeling pretty happy with everything that i've accomplished today and i honestly do feel a lot better getting things done rather than just wallowing which is what i've been doing for the past couple of days as soon as i started getting things done i started to feel better so note to self not even getting things done, but just like doing something other than wallowing in bed or scrolling on my phone. Scrolling on my phone is just honestly so bad for me. But anyways, so now I've made myself a 99 extra tea and I'm trying out this face mask for the first time. I've tried this one from Be Kind and to be honest, I just didn't like it. This is the 
algae peel off mask with hibiscus and pink clay and i don't know maybe it was the way i applied it that i didn't like mix it properly this is the kind that comes in a powder and you have to mix it which i'm already like not really a fan of because you have to do that extra stuff but it did not peel off it literally just like crumbled and it was so hard to get off of my face so yeah didn't love that one these were gifted by the way um and i do have a discount code i just haven't really shared it yet because i haven't i feel like i haven't had enough time to try out this skincare i actually have been using this moisturizer for um about two and a half months now and i really really do love this moisturizer this is the floral face moisturizer with honeysuckle flower and this truly just hydrates my skin super well and it smells really nice even my boyfriend when i walked by him after i first started using this he's like you smell so good and i was like i know so i really have been loving that didn't love that other mask and now i'm trying out this one i already like this so much more though because it's not making a huge mess like the other one and this you just rinse off so super easy but yeah i'm just gonna leave this on my face for a little bit i just wanted to check in and let y'all know that i am indeed feeling a little bit better so i'm really grateful for that hopefully get some more things done tomorrow also need to do some filming and just not even some i have like a lot of work stuff to do tomorrow try not to be overwhelmed by all of the work that i have to do within the next few days but it's fine i will get it done also cadence seems to be feeling a little bit better i've give she's had two doses of her antibiotics now and she's also on a couple of different like stomach um like gut flora probiotic things so that is seeming better i mean we'll see how she does over the weekend but yeah my plan for the night after i wash my face off here is to read and i am so freaking excited i just started actually wait until i have the books and then i can show you what i'm reading I'm reading a lot of books right now actually and I'm kind of obsessed with two of them that I started today. One of them is an audiobook that I was listening to while I was making dinner. But yeah, I'm feeling two five-star reads coming on so I'm very excited about that. Anyways, I'm gonna go put this tea down in the room. Maybe I'll light a candle and make it all cozy in here for myself. Yeah, I think I'm gonna set the vibes. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, I've got my lavender candle going and my cup of tea and my little reading lamp and also my little bedside lamp with my asparagus fern we are all set up this right here is my kobo holder my e-reader holder i don't think actually i am probably going to be reading on my e-reader so i might use that tonight also have another book lamp right there like i've just got the reading girly set up going okay i hope it's not going to be too dark but what I started reading today, you guys. Are you ready? My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. Oh my goodness. I am, let me see, 42 pages in and I am obsessed. I love this. I think I already love it more than Horror Store. I mean, we'll see. I loved Horror Store. I've rated it five stars. Grady Hendrix just has such a unique way of crafting horror novels. I mean, this isn't scary yet, so I'm very curious for when we get to the horror part. But yeah, I am already just having the best time reading this and I'm actually reading it with a group of people on my Discord. We're having like a little book club and I made a schedule of how many pages we're reading every few days and everything and we're like chatting about it and we're gonna check in. So it's just so fun. This is also super cool because all of the chapters are named after song names, like 80s songs, because this is like an 80s nostalgia vibes kind of horror book. I mean, if you can't tell from the cover, but all of the chapters um, are named after song names. And then there's a playlist that you can listen to, like at, either as you're reading it or just like whenever, just to, you know, get you into the mood. But oh my goodness, just to add to the ambiance. But yeah, I am absolutely loving this so far. So the back says, high school sophomores Abby and Gretchen have been best friends since fourth grade. But after an evening of skinny dipping goes disastrously wrong, Gretchen begins to act different. She's moody, she's irritable, and bizarre incidents keep happening whenever she's nearby. 
Abby's investigation leads her to some startling discoveries, and by the time their story reaches its terrifying conclusion, the fate of Abby and Gretchen will be determined by a single question. Is their friendship powerful enough to beat the devil? Oh my goodness. So where I am in it right now, or where I've gotten up to, it's just kind of like gone back in time to when they were, I think in fourth grade, like just young, and how they met and their friendship started and everything. And this takes place in the 80s. Even though I was born in the 90s though, I feel the nostalgic vibes. All of their behaviors and just like their childhood friendship, it's so just relatable and nostalgic and charming and funny. It honestly just takes me back to when I was a child. Like I can just picture me with all of like my childhood best friends when I'm reading this book. It's very fun so far. So yeah, absolutely loving that. And I have to read up to page 66. I mean, not have to read, I get to read up to page 66 for the next two days. So I think that's only, do I only have one more chapter to go? Two more chapters to go. They're pretty short chapters. So I think I'm gonna do that tonight. Today's literally the day we started this book and I'm gonna get all three days of reading done today on the first day. So I'm gonna have to wait two more days to read the next section so that we're all kind of reading at the same time, you know? And then the second book that I started listening to today, actually I'm listening to, to it on Libby as an audiobook, is called Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for m How to Solve a Murder? Is that what it's called? I'll have it on the screen. It follows our main character, Vera, who is a 60-year-old woman, which literally love that. I love reading novels with main characters of various ages, um, and she's just like such a quirky, hilarious character. I'm literally in love with her already, but it follows her. Um, she runs a tea shop, and one day she comes in. It's a cozy mystery vibes. One day she comes in and um, discovers that there's a dead man in her tea shop. So she calls the police and everything, and they come, and she's just not really impressed with how they are treating the crime, and they don't seem to be taking it very seriously. So she ends up taking it upon herself to solve the murder because she feels like she can do a better job than the police, and honestly, I have faith in her. It's so funny so far. I'm only, I think, 11% of the way through the audiobook, so I have no idea what's gonna go down, but I already am feeling the five-star vibes, and I'm just so excited to keep listening to it. I honestly haven't read a lot of cozy mysteries, but I feel like that genre is just very much for me. Like this book, at least. I'm just, I'm loving it already. And then I'm also currently reading, and this is what I'm probably gonna read, um after I finish those two chapters in My Best Friend's Exorcism. A Court of Wings and Ruin, the third Akatar book. I'm only 33% through because this thing is so freaking long, you guys. I think that this was 17 hours of reading in total. Like, she is a thick book. And for some reason, I borrowed this on my Libby and then it expired because of course I didn't read it in time. And it's been expired for like two weeks, but it's still on my Kobo and I'm still able to read it, so that's cool. So I'm just I'm just reading that while it's on there still. I think that that's all I'm reading right now. I just finished listening to the London Seance Society. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the London Seance Society. And it wasn't that good, honestly. I didn't really like it. I rated it two stars. I liked the vibes, but the story was just kind of meh. I was kind of bored. Anyways, that's my little reading update check-in. I am going to go ahead and cozy myself up here and enjoy my books and hopefully just get to bed early and get a really good sleep in because I really feel like I need that. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I mean, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm sure. Let's hope. Tomorrow is going to be a good day. A new day. A good day. I'm excited. Okay, hello everybody. Currently Saturday afternoon, 
got up this morning. I actually slept in a little bit, which is really nice. And I feel like I finally caught up on sleep a little bit last night. I've been so behind on sleep this past week just because, like I said, Cadence has been sick and she's been up throughout the night. So last night was actually pretty good, which I'm very thankful for. So I woke up feeling pretty good this morning. We had a bit of a relaxed morning. I made this cinnamon bun oatmeal, which was really delicious. And we played a nice little game. And then we took the dogs for a walk. And then I came home and I made this delicious mango salsa. Oh my gosh, it was so freaking good, you guys. I will definitely be making that again. It was just delicious. And now we have just been cleaning the house a little bit. My partner is mopping the floors right now, bless him. And I am just kind of sorting out some footage. I'm going through all of my SD cards and my hard drive and everything and trying to organize things a little bit. All of sparking. Just trying to kind of get organized and then I have to do editing today, this afternoon and also water some plants. So those are my two goals for, it's 2.30 right now and I want to be done by like 6 p.m. So we'll see how much I can get done. And then tonight I'm going to a movie with my mom. We're seeing a horror movie, I forget what it's called again. It's like called like Don't Talk To Me or something. Talk To Me, that's what it's called. So hopefully that's good. I'm excited. I love going to movies. I saw Barbie last weekend and oh my goodness, I was obsessed. It was so freaking good. I was crying my eyes out. So this weekend going to see a horror movie, which is very fun. Just waiting for my mom to pick me up for the movie. Um, also washed the bedding this afternoon. So I'm very excited to come home to nice, clean, fresh bedding. That's just the best. Um, what else also might paint my nails when i get back depending on how i feel but yeah anyways headed to the movie and i'm really excited hello everybody i am back from the movie and holy crap you guys that's the most scared i've ever freaking been that's probably an exaggeration but literally i was so scared oh my gosh i'm like I feel unwell now. I just made my valerian tea. I'm like, I need to get this anxiety under control. Also, if you can hear people, it's because my boyfriend's having a board game night right now. So they're at the table. But um, yeah, I just got home not long ago. The movie was so good, like so well done. I loved it. I've seen that it's received mixed reviews. Some people really like it and some people are like, meh. But I thought it was so well done. And it literally just like, I feel like it spoke specifically to some of my anxieties and fears so i literally had goosebumps and my heart was pounding i actually felt like i was almost going to have a panic attack but i didn't thank god but yeah holy crap i was not expecting it to be so insane so now i am just trying to relax and to be calm i don't even really feel in the mood to paint my nails anymore <laughs> i don't know i think i need to read a book or something to get my mind off of that Definitely recommend if you're looking for a scary movie to watch, talk to me. Yeah. Really unique concept, really good acting. It's an Australian film, actually. Yeah, honestly, five stars. But I'm gonna go wash my face and get all cozy and everything. And then, yeah, I'm probably gonna read. I really need to paint my nails, but I just honestly don't feel like doing it. Oh, so I might do it tomorrow night instead, I don't know. I've got the monkey here. I've got the monkey here. Oh, she's tired. She's tired. Hello, everybody. It's been a couple of days. I've actually already been filming a new weekly vlog for the past couple of days, but I haven't even finished off this one, so I have returned to close it out. But thank you so much for coming along with me on the weekend. I had a really nice, relaxing and fun weekend. I actually remember how shook I was by the Talk To Me movie. Oh my gosh, I honestly, I was thinking about that all weekend. I was so shook by that. And then what did I do? So I saw that on Saturday night. And then what did I do on Sunday nights? I went and saw another horror movie. Like, am I well? Am I well? <laughs> I cannot be stopped. We went and saw 
um, the last voyage of the Demeter, which was, I don't know, I thought I loved the vibes. It's a horror movie based on a singular chapter in the novel Dracula. And that chapter is basically like a stormy ship kind of vibe where Dracula's being like transported across overseas. I haven't read Dracula, but now I really want to. I know it's a classic, I haven't read it. But yeah, I love the vibes. The movie wasn't amazing. Like it didn't really have that wow factor, but I still thought that it was really good. And I love anything like spooky ocean and like, you know, set in the 1800s old ship kind of vibes it delivered on that and it was really enjoyable and also sunday was four dollar movie night it was like national cinema day or something so movies were only four dollars a ticket and like when does that happen anymore literally never so we were like we have to go see a movie um so that's the one that we saw and it was really fun but now i do have um well i have one package to unbox and then one i've already opened um i got it a few days ago and i could not restrain myself when i received it so i i tore it open right away but i really want to show you what's in it because i can't even believe how cute this is so these are what I received and these are absolutely incredible. So there's the Happy House Plant cards. It says cards for intuitive plant care. So I'll show you the cards that are in here. And then this one is the Happy House Plant coloring book and just when I tell you I was shocked when I saw this and just saw how incredibly beautiful the art is like the gold foiling. Are you kidding me? Like this, oh my goodness, I love it so, so much. I cannot even tell y'all. Um, I'll link these down below if you're interested. But yeah, I guess I'll show the coloring book first. So it's really cute because it's all houseplant themed, obviously. And it is a coloring book. Like it has all of these incredible artworks in here that you can color in, which I do look forward to doing. Um, and then it also has like information about the plants on the other page like are you kidding me? And what I really like about this is that it has like um, not so much care information in this I mean it has a little bit but more so like where the plant comes from and just kind of like interesting information about it so yeah, I just, I think that this is so freaking cool and I think that it's going to be a really nice meditative experience for me to just sit down and color this in. I already have markers, but I'm low-key thinking like, should I get pencil crayons? I feel like that would be better for just how detailed some of these are. But yeah, oh my goodness, you guys, I'm, I'm so, so impressed by this. This was gifted to me, but it's not sponsored or anything. They didn't ask me to mention it in the vlog, but... Obviously I'm obsessed. And then these truly blew me away, the cards. First of all, beautiful box, so gorgeous with the gold again. And then when you open it up, there's this little book that it comes with. It kind of explains just some like, I don't know, general information about plant care, which is so cute. Like everything about this, the font and everything, like, oh my goodness, it's just so great. But then the cards, you guys, I, this art style is insane. Okay, let me get them out. This art style is just, I'm obsessed with it. The colors are incredible. Um, yeah, they are so, so beautiful. So there's a different plant on every card. And then on the back is the care information about that plant. Like, are you kidding me? This would make an incredible gift for a plant person. It's just so cool. I I love this so much. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, just like look at how beautiful. Oh my gosh. I feel so lucky to have these. I remember when um, they reached out and asked if I'd be interested. They kind of like showed me what they're gonna look like or or explain the concept or something and i was like yeah that literally sounds right up my alley but to actually receive this i'm just i'm so impressed by it even my boyfriend was like oh my god like those are so nice i was like i know right i'm literally dying over them anyways so i had to show you guys that um because i know that a lot of you will really like this too 
so i'm so happy to have these um i want to take some pictures of them maybe tomorrow so i'm gonna leave them out but now i'm going to open a package that i received yesterday and it is planty related so um, another planty related package let me grab it i'm just gonna cut it open over here it has my address all over it okay so this is the package that i'm going to be opening and this is really exciting because uh what's in here is handmade by somebody on my patreon who i placed an order through um so i'll show you what what she's made oh such a nice note okay this is what it looks like so you can probably tell what it is it is indeed plant pots. I'm so excited to see these. One, two. Oh, is there more in here? I feel like she sent me some cheeky extras. What the heck? I bought three of them, I think, but I can already see one, two, three, four, five, six. How many are in here? Oh no, is this broken? <gasps> oh my god, I think one's broken. No. Okay, let's start with opening this right here. So there's a smaller one in the middle. Now I've really been wanting um, more like cute pots. I've talked about this a lot on my um, like plant channel. This year I've really been prioritizing Putting my plants in cute pots, it just makes such a big difference. So I'm really excited to have these hand-painted ones. <gasps> it's so cute. Oh my goodness, look at these little flowers. Oh my goodness, it is so, so sinking cute. I love the colors so much. This is just beautiful. I'm so excited, I love it. Oh, this is a fun one. This is a fun one. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's literally so pretty. It's fruit, it's like light pink, and then it has fruit on it. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I love when things have fruit or like fruit patterned. I just think that that's so cute. I really love this one and the color of pink so pretty okay pulling out the next one. Oh, this is her little card so cute the botanical unicorn i'll put her insta um down below <gasps> this one is so pretty oh my goodness i love this one i was immediately drawn to this when i saw the photo look at how gorgeous that is are you kidding me i'm going through a really big pink pot phase so yeah i chose out pots with a lot of pink but this is so beautiful oh my goodness i love it so so pretty okay and i think this is an extra one here there's a note in it we are both part of the waitlist team for Taylor. I know it's not the same, but here's a little of the era's tour for your plan. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I am so excited. <laughs> this is literally so cute. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh all the little easter eggs on it that's so cute i love this so freaking much oh so cute that is just like literally so thoughtful oh my goodness i love it i wonder what plant i'll put in that which one should i put in let me know Okay, and we still have, there's another one here, and then there's the one that I think might be broken. So let's open this one. This is just so nice. I was not expecting extras at all. 
<gasps> okay, there's another note. Spooky season is my fave. Can't wait for this year's spooky repot. Oh my gosh, this is all just like so thoughtful. <gasps> this is so nice. Are you kidding me? This puts my spooky repot to shame. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. I love the ghosties, the candy corn and the pumpkins. <gasps> I die for this. What the heck? I'm so excited because in two weeks now, I think is when I'm gonna do, this keeps going out of focus, is when I'm gonna do my decorating. So rest assured, this will be finding a spot with one of my plants. Okay, now let's check out the situation over here. Oh, I'll be so sad if something's broken. It sounds broken though. It was literally so cute too. Oh my gosh, I wonder if I can glue it together or something. I'm so sad. I'm so sad, look at how cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is literally adorable. No. Okay, the pieces are all fairly big. I think there's a couple smaller ones, but I'm gonna see if I can glue this together because this is just so nice. Oh, oh my goodness. I am so excited to get my plants potted up in these. They're gonna look so stinking good. Anyways, that is going to close out the vlog. Love a fun little unboxing. Thank you so much for coming along with me over this weekend. I hope that y'all are doing well. Like I said, I'm filming another vlog right now, so that will be coming. Looking forward to chatting with you in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you wanna see more vlogs. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.